In this demonstration, I'm going to show you the whole 3D text workflow in Adobe Dimension. The text object uh, in uh, basic shapes, um, and you can uh, now have uh, the 3D uh, model of those basic texts uh, at, the, at the default setting. Uh, now you can using some pen tools or uh, you know just resize and repositioning to see the the content uh, to bring all things to the uh, ground. Uh, you can using command and the period key. Um, so now we have all the text here so that we can start to uh, exploring some possibilities so you can uh, on the right hand side or bottom you can do the uh, change of the different fonts um, different type of faces and uh, uh, there are special uh, uh, input area you can quickly and pretty easily to change the text the content um, uh, which is highly uh, you know uh, very effective um, on the bottom, you have you can go to control the bevel, um, which you can change the uh, some bevel types, and there are so many types here. Uh, you can you, you can um, create a very classical and a professional type, um, you know, of bevels. Following part will be the same as other. Uh, different type of shapes is basically just to go uh, to um, pick different materials materials you wanted to apply and then click and drag to drop these materials onto the object and um, so you can see this one directly All right, next uh, you can try to turn on or off the uh, render preview uh, using the backslash key, the shortcut. Um, so in that way you can test the preview before you go, uh, send it to uh, render VO. Um, and also you can orbit this one with one and hold down the uh, number key one and click and drag and the two uh, click and drag, S3, click and drag, so you can have those default 3D control um, uh, as other uh, professional 3D application. The following step is to think about the lighting environment. Uh, you can go to uh, find uh, several uh, presetting lightings that this is kind of like a why we love dimension um dimension make all of those things pretty easy and pretty straightforward Finally, it's the time to change the background you can go switch to the background tab and uh, find one of those pattern over there uh, and then you know this this you can help th match the image with the the model so this one more coherent with uh, the 3d model and the background uh, finally you want to go to render preview uh, render this scene actually generate the final render um, and we hit the render button and uh, the computer start to render the final image uh, tested a small uh, rendering and then complete this process.